You can now quickly make a mock-up directly in Illustrator with just one or two clicks. This is perfect for if you want to visualize an idea or if you need to quickly send a mock-up to a client. Now the big question is, do you think this will replace Photoshop and lots of designers' workflow? Let's find out. As you can see here, I have some different mock-up types to play with. I found these on Freepik, but if you have Adobe Dimension, which is included in your Creative Cloud subscription, then you can also render out your own 3D models and then bring those into Illustrator. Let's start with the cylinder shape or the pop can. Let's place our vector graphic over the image and then select our graphic and the background image. Go up to object, hover over mock-up and then select make. Now, as you can see, it even masks behind her fingers, which is pretty impressive, and it goes around the curves quite nicely. And of course, you can rotate your artwork left or right, and you can also scale it up or down, just make sure to hold shift to scale it proportionally. You can select different components within your mock up here at the top, so that's the entire group. This is the background image, and then here you can select the graphic within your mock up. Moving on to the box, let's see how the mock up takes these curves. Again, go up to Object, Mock Up, Make. Let's make this graphic blend in better by going up to our opacity panel and we can either change the opacity or let's go to our blending mode and change this to multiply. And already this is looking way more realistic with the shadow showing through. When we make the blending mode for the can mockup multiply that adds a lot more depth. Now for the bag mockup. The graphic actually goes behind the plant which is a nice touch because that is something that would take a lot more time in Photoshop if you're masking it out. So let's go back up to our opacity panel and change the blending mode to multiply and then scale this graphic up. Now for the shirt, same process to make the mockup. I'm just playing around with some different blending modes to see what looks best. I thought this looked good because the colors were nice and bright and you could see the wrinkles through the graphic but the green color was taken out completely so what you could do is try and duplicate the layer and then change your blending mode so you can combine them to make something that looks as realistic as possible. Now finally for the truck, let's see how this mockup looks. So as you can see, you would definitely not want to show off an entire wrap like this, but if you have like a door decal, then this is definitely a quick and easy way to get that graphic in perspective. And those are some ways you can easily make a mock-up in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would mean a lot to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. It helps a lot to support the channel and to continue making content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.